EA Sports just stop it. All cash in the stores just to give no other options. Finessing little kids, this should be eating your conscience. You all should be jobless. In order for us to succeed, we have to empty our pockets. Just stop money grabbing. That's all we can wish. Saying this game is grindable, we are all not convinced. For the ones who insist, you all get me pissed because the term free to play doesn't even exist. What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now for this video, we're going to be doing some gameplay with the new 94 overall David West. Uh, he gets boosted up to a 95 on this guy's team. Um, you guys know EA releases two new Ultimate Legends every single week. And the two new Ultimate Legends, whoops, the two new Ultimate Legends that they brought in today was a 94 David West and a 94 Scottie Pippen. So let's go ahead and go to uh, their sets real quick. Every single week, I want to go ahead and try. Wait a minute. So apparently the David West isn't a set legend. That's weird. <clears throat> so EA drops two new legends every single week. And um, they drop one for the classic and one for the NBA lineup. I try my best to review the NBA lineup card every single week. Even though I don't buy these cards for my team because they're not really worth it on my team, I'm not gonna sit here and waste coins on these new cards when they play just as good as the cards that I already have. So I wanna give a huge shout out to the homie on Instagram for letting me hop on his account to do this gameplay. I'm gonna leave his uh, Instagram link in the description down below. Now, I know some of you guys have a problem with me doing these gameplays on other guys' accounts, but you know, you guys want to see the gameplay at the end of the day, and me, I'm not gonna waste coins on these cards, so when people offer me to do gameplay, you guys gotta think about it this way. I don't ask for gameplay, people offer it to me. So my boy Andrew hit me up and he was like, yo, you wanna do some gameplay on this? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So when people offer me to do the gameplay, I'm going to do the gameplay because I know you guys want to see it. Me, I'm not going to waste coins and get the card from my team because I don't need it. But when other people have the card and then they offer me the gameplay, I'm going to get it out for you guys. So let's look at the Scotty Pippen real quick. You know, like <clears throat> he has good on ball defense, great steal, uh, good dribbling. Other than that, pretty trash, not worth it. And then uh, last week they dropped the Ewing. Crawford's actually good. You know, Crawford's good. Um, but there's a Devin Booker, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this David West real quick. Pretty decent stats. Uh, 88 speed, 88 agility, uh, 94 mid-range, which is good. He has a bad three-pointer, but he has a power forward at the end of the day. So this dude isn't trained, none of that. So these are his base stats. So 94 mid-range, 76 three-pointer, 91 inside paint shot, 94 post shot, 87 dunking, 94 scoring with contact, 86 on ball defense, 90 blocks, 73 steal, 84 dribbling, 85 passing accuracy, 86 box out, and pretty bad rebounding stats at 89 and 84. So compared to that Pau Gasol, Pau Gasol craps on him. Let's take a look at that Pau Gasol. I have Pau Gasol on my squad right now. So let's look at Pau Gasol stats. Look at his stats. Already better than David West's. Let's look at his hidden stats. Look at his stats compared to David West's. And this dude's a 92. David West is a 94. Pau Gasol has 89 box out, 93 offensive rebounding, and 89 defensive rebounding. David West had, what, 89 offensive and 83 defensive? Like, that's terrible. And he had 83 box out. The only stats that are good on the David Wests are his scoring with contact. And what else was it? Was it inside paint shot or something? Yeah, so, no, it was post shot. So, his only good stats, really, are inside paint, post shot, and scoring with contact. His blocking is good too, but like other than that, and his mid range, other than that, this card sucks. Like, Pau Gasol is seven foot tall, seven feet tall, whatever. This dude's six foot nine. 
Pal Gasol craps on him, bro. But nevertheless, we are going to showcase this card. So as always, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I really don't understand what EA is doing right now. Like, EA, what are you doing, bro? Like, nobody plays your game anymore. Like, what are you doing, bro? Why would you drop a David West with those terrible stats? All right, we get the tip right there. We're going to give it to West all the way. Oh, look at that move right there. Okay. Okay, he might prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? He might prove me wrong. I'm still not going to recommend this card no matter how good I play with him. I'm still not going to recommend him because Pau Gasol is way better than this card. If you guys haven't picked up Pau Gasol already, you guys got to pick him up. You could probably get him for around 3 mil. I was about to straight go for that dunk. All right, uh, give it to West. Pump fake all the way. Easy. Just like that. That pump fake is overpowered. So, a couple of people told me that EA fixed the crashing issue. So, when I recorded my um, my Jeremy Lin gameplay, I recorded that gameplay on Thursday. Thursday night, and then I dropped it Friday. Thursday night, the game crashed on me. But some people yesterday told me that they fixed the crashing. So, we're going to have to... See, oh, I thought he was about to miss. But we're going to have to see during this video right here if it ends up crashing or not. Hopefully, it doesn't crash because I hate when it crashes because it really just throws everything off. And then I have to load the game back up. I have to go back into the head-to-head -head game. I hate doing that, you know. I just want to go through three clean head-to-head -head matches. And then we good, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this David, this David West is, you know, plays like any other card. Like, usually when I do gameplay with these uh, big men, I do the same exact thing. I go into the paint, I pump fake, I get the players to jump, and then, you know, they jump, and then I just go for the easy dunk. So, like, all of these cards play the exact same way. See, look at that. Easy, bro. Like, it's just way too easy. Like, we did the exact same thing with Pau Gasol. You know what I'm saying? We did the exact same thing with Dwight Howard. Like, every big man that we do gameplay with, we do the exact same thing. Like, this game really doesn't have true gameplay. Look, look, it's just that easy. You can really score that easy with any card. So, even though, okay, we, he, he just walks in on us. But, yeah, even though we're making all of these shots with David West, I still don't recommend him because Pau Gasol is a better card better rebounding look at that oh oh we missed that one all right so the game didn't crash on us that time that's a good sign right there now that's a good sign let me know if the game has been crashing for you guys recently because if it has then EA didn't patch anything but if it hasn't then we're making progress it's the game still sucks it's still very bad it's still pay to win. I haven't really reviewed these packs yet for a video, but I did make a post on Instagram. 350,000 training points. You have a chance to up to, wait, what? So you have a chance to up to 50,000 extra, but you have to pay $100 for training points. So you're paying money to make your car non-auctionable. Good job, EA. Way to make it to where we can't make any coins anymore. Let me see something real quick. Because somebody told me that you were unable to use players for training anymore. Let me double check. So, we got the collectibles. Okay, so you can use players for training. I was tripping, bro. Because when I heard that, I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. But EA hasn't gone that crazy yet. Hopefully, the next promo we get isn't pay to win, bro. Regardless of what happens moving forward, the diss track is still coming, bro. And like, I, I'm, I'm not going to give you guys a date when it's coming, but like, just know that it's going to be fire. Like, I'm buying a new camera for the music video. There's going to be drones involved and it's about to be lit. Like, I'm, I finished up my verse or whatever. I showed you guys a sneak peek yesterday in my video. Um... That sneak peek that I showed you guys is only like, what, 15 seconds of my actual verse? What am I doing right now? Uh, but what I showed you guys yesterday is only 15 seconds 
of my actual verse. My whole verse is like two minutes long, guys. Like I, I went like I, I wasn't playing, bro. I really wasn't playing. But yeah, my whole verse is uh, two minutes long, and I showed you guys like 15 seconds. So it's gonna be lit, you know what I'm saying? So I can't wait until you guys see it. I can't wait until it's all put together, and I, I just can't wait. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's gonna turn out really nice and. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be good. It's going. It's gonna be good. All right. So, lock up. All right. So David West getting the rebound, even though he doesn't have good rebounding stats, he still snagged down that rebound, and then we take it coast to coast, and we get that dunk right there. Let's go. All right. Clamp up, guys. Clamp up. Good D. White side. You gotta get that board, bruh. You gotta get that rebound. Let's test out his mid-range. Oh, so we actually hit that. So he actually hit that mid-range. His mid-range was very high. So if you guys were to get this card for some reason, you know, his mid-range stat is pretty high. All right, let's get it back to him. Let's test his three-pointer. <laughs> oh, Westbrook gets the board. Yo, give it back to him. 20%. Oh. So that was counted as a two-pointer, so I'm not sure what they call it that. Outside shooting? They would go by his outside shooting stat. All right, let's try to get the buzzer beater. Three, two, one. All right, he can't shoot threes, all right? He can't shoot threes. He's really good at the mid-range shots, though. He did hit that deep two, which was good. He also hit another mid-range, so I mean, the card isn't terrible. But is he worth it? No, he is not. My final verdict on this new Ultimate Legend David West is that he's not worth it. Now, EA Sports, what are you guys doing, bro? Like, really, what are you guys doing? Why are you giving us replacements for other cards that you brought in? They brought in a 92 Ultimate Legend, Pau Gasol, and then two, two weeks later, they bring in, or two, three weeks later, they bring in a 94 power forward. And Pau Gasol's stats are way better than his stats. Sometimes I don't understand what EA is doing. And like, why are, why are they releasing classic lineup cards? You can't use your classic lineup in head-to-head. -head. So why, <laughs> like, I, I could care less about my classic lineup. Like, the classic lineup on my account is an 89. My NBA lineup is a 98. I could care less about my classic lineup. Like, what would be the point? So I can say that I have, so that I can say that I have a high overall team. Until EA makes the classic lineup playable everywhere, I'm not even going to bother with it. You know what I'm saying? Like these new cards that are coming out, the new Ultimate Legends that EA is dropping every week, I could care less about, bro. Like I could really care less about. Like my team's good. I have 97 Ben Simmons. I have 99 Vince Carter. 99 LeBron, 99 Pau Gasol, and 99 Dwight Howard. What else do I need? What else do I need? I'm done training players, so what else do I need? Really, like what else do I need? I don't need anything else. My classic lineup's an 89, but I don't even like use my classic lineup. You only play one quarter a day with your classic lineup, and that's in head to head. So why should I focus on it? And plus, if I were to spin, five mil on a car now there's going to be a better card two weeks down the road you guys could see with uh, some of these cards that came out like it's ridiculous ea is on that bull crap and they wonder why nobody plays their game like i don't i don't play this game like you know what i'm saying like i don't play it. i just make videos for you guys and that's it you guys have seen that i haven't streamed this game in like a month because it's trash, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, nevertheless, uh, that will wrap up the video. So if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, drop that like. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do drop a video. Before I do end it, I do want to touch on something. So a couple of people kind of get mad at me for uh, complaining too much. They get mad at Bobby too for complaining a lot. I see it in the comments, but you guys got to understand. We got to keep it real, bro. We gotta keep it real with the fan base. Like, we can't just sit here and lie. We can't just sit here and act happy because then we're not being true to you guys. What I'm saying right now is what I 100% feel about the game. 
you know the game is bad when the YouTubers don't even like the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to continue to give you guys my honest opinions about these new cards, about the content, and about the game itself. I hate this game. And I never play this game unless I'm making a video. Or unless I'm grinding some live events. Like when a LeBron event is out, that's the only time I play the game. I'm usually playing Madden 18 or Fortnite, bro. Like, that's all I play. I don't play NBA Live Mobile anymore. That's my true opinion about this game. And I know a lot of you guys can relate to me. The game has gone to crap. And if EA doesn't get it together now, like, we're, we keep giving EA some leeway. And we can't keep doing that. All-Star Promo was supposed to be the promo that brought NBA Live Mobile back. But instead... It made people hate the game even more. That's the crazy thing about it. So when when we get a 100% pay to win All Star promo, we we're, we can't think that the next promo is going to be good because All Star was that big promo last season that was fire. So we can't be like, oh, hopefully EA makes a good March Madness promo. I think they're going to make a good March Madness promo. How are we going to hope that? If the all-star promo was buns, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I don't want to see any complaints in the comments that I'm complaining too much. People are like, hey, yo, if you complain so much, don't play the game. I don't play the game. I make videos, and that's it, because you guys like the videos. But I'm going to keep it 100% real in every single last one of my videos. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And y'all know the slogan, screw the haters. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Sam AMs in my bank account. Yeah, 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 in my bank account. I got one, two, three, four, five.